Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. This one is about D&D, but it's just a bunch of polls. So basically, for the past year, I've been making a bunch of polls about random topics, some based around D&D, some based around anime, some just around random questions that I thought were interesting and wanted to see what a group majority's opinion on them would be. So today, we're just gonna go over basically every single one that I've ever made, see what you all said about them, and what the most popular opinion was. Also, do you gotta say, if you're interested in some anime-styled homebrew for D&D 5e, I've been making it over on my Patreon, link in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started with the first poll. Without any context, pick a D&D monster. Succubus won this one by around 20 something percent. I'm a bit surprised though that slime got so far up in the ratings. Maybe it's because slimes are a bit more exotic of a creature, and succubi are just a little bit more, you know, a little bit more fan servicey, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anime or D&D? So basically, 6% of you only care about anime, 27% of you only care about D&D, and then the other 66 came here for the anime into D&D videos. If these characters were level 20 in D&D, which would win? The biggest meme out of all of these is obviously sand, so I'm honestly not surprised that he won. Choose a D&D class, round one. This was a little mini-series we were doing just to see which class everyone preferred, and in this one, Rogue came out on top. In round two, we had some sort of weird stepping ladder sort of formation going on with the poll, and Bard ended up winning. In the last one, we had the support classes with Artificer coming out on top. Finally, putting all the winners together in a battle to the death, Bard claimed the victory royale. Your D&D character notices a house on fire with a child trapped inside. What do they do? The alignments I wrote on this one are sort of off, but most people said that they would save the child. It does my heart good to know that most people in this community are decent human beings. You're making a D&D character. Which trait would you give them? Alright, so you know that feeling when it's been a while since you've had a hot pocket and you want to cook it in the microwave but you don't know exactly how long to put it in there for? It's personally been a while since I've had one, but I'm not gonna waste five seconds of my life to look at the packaging and figure it out. What's your experience with D&D? So this poll was made because I really wanted to know exactly how many people in the D&D community actually play the game. This poll was actually really useful because I learned that most of the people who watch my channel don't really play D&D all that much. Pick a mimic. Not too surprising that the chest mimic won this poll, but the fridge mimic was surprisingly close. You can have anything you could imagine. What do you pick? Finding a group to play with regularly is one of the hardest parts about Dungeons and Dragons. If you don't have any friends or don't really know where to look, then I'm not too sure you'll be playing D&D anytime soon. Most people probably voted the last one just for a meme though, but considering that they threw infinite wealth out of the window, it's sort of funny to think about. Dragonborn should have tails. Now I'm sure there's a lore reason for this, but it just feels awkward that your dragonborn, a descendant of dragons, doesn't have a tail. Whatever. Yeah, sure there's lizard folk, sure, whatever, Dragonborn should have tails. D? The D12 won and I have no idea why. Is it because it's the most rarely used dice? Is it just because it has the most sides? I could not tell you. My party's fighting Tiamat today, what should I do to them? Most people said to just have fun and play fair and I couldn't agree more. There's an imposter among us. Apparently the bard is sus, we should call an emergency meeting. It's the wizard's turn and they want to cast? Yeah, the wish spell is sort of becoming a meme on this channel, but it's a good spell, what are you gonna do? What's the best spell in D&D? Obviously Fireball, I'm pretty sure the developers even said the spell was crazy good, so no reason not to like it. A bandit's escaping with all of your gold. How do you stop them? RIP AND TEAR UNTIL IT IS DONE What's the best ranged weapon? I think longbows have the best damage for their price, so I can understand why they won. I'm not too sure why you'd even want to use a short bow, maybe there's a certain circumstance that requires it, but otherwise longbow's just better in every way. D&D Quiz 1 What's the best action to use against a swarm of insects? Obviously fire, I mean you do it in real life too, so why switch it up now? D&D Quiz 2 What's the most common character made in 5e. Alright, so humans are the most relatable, and fighter is the easiest class to learn, so it just makes sense, okay? D&D Quiz 3, which weapon can deal the least damage? Without poison, blowguns only do one piercing. D&D Quiz 4? I think we're on 4. Which monster has blindsight? This one actually tricked a few people, but the gelatinous cube is the only one with blindsight. Do you play D&D more over the internet or IRL? This poll was made midway into the pandemic, so it's obvious why internet won. Once again, 24% of people still haven't played D&D, and the 
thought alone still terrifies me. What's the best tabletop game? I mean, of course D&D would win, this is a D&D channel after all. The 16% of people who voted Monopoly though are just memeing. Choose your dice roll. Most people would rather succeed than fail, but I think they also just want to laugh at what will happen during a natural one. Choose your character. I honestly envy and pity any DM that allows these characters at their table. Choose your D&D alignment. Why doesn't anyone want to rule the world with me? Come on, there's too many goody two-shoes in my community. What's the scariest thing you can hear the DM say? I mean, the DM can say a lot of things to get on your nerves or cause you to freak out, but canceling the campaign has to be one of the worst. The doorway into the villain's lair says that you need to press the blue button to enter. Which do you press? I think defiance is a good word to describe this poll. Your DM gave your character one wish. What do you wish for? This poll is just a meme, but wishing for another wish just just sounds funny. Have you ever played a level 20 D&D character? You think all the people in my community who've barely played D&D have ever managed to get their hands on a level 20 character? Even if you regularly play, there's still a good chance you haven't reached level 20. Choose your weapon. Never bring a knife to a gunfight, there's really nothing else to say. What level would you like your character to start at in your next D&D campaign? Most people just prefer the crazy stuff that happens in lower level D&D campaigns over the absurd magical stuff that happens in higher ones. What's your least favorite dice? I don't know why there's so much discrimination over dice with less sides. What the heck? Why do you all hate the D4 so much? Your favorite D&D character is about to die. What do you do? Most people want to play fair, and once again, I commemorate you. Which is the most cursed dice? Once again, it's the one with the least sides. Who would have expected that? Totally not me! You're forced to have a new player in your D&D game. Who do you pick? Personally, I wouldn't have picked the Weeaboo because they're a disgrace to all normal anime fans everywhere, but to each their own, I guess. Choose a pet for your D&D character. I mean, I think hawks are cool, but they just feel so basic. I don't know, whatever. And finally, how do you like to level up in D&D? I mean, all the official D&D modules use the milestone system, and you don't have to worry about tracking individual XP for every monster and encounters, so it's definitely a big step up from the earlier systems. Alright, and that's about all of the... wait, there's still one more. Huh? Only 20% of the people watching right now are subscribed? Well, if you like this video and you've been watching the channel for a while, maybe it's about time you hit the button. If you have any cool ideas for some polls we could do on the channel, then send them in the comments section below. Like the video so I can know if this series is worth continuing, and I'll see you all in the next video.